Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On Heart channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. You already know if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below as well. I will be happy to make a video for you too. Same as the over 100 videos now I made on Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from subscribers and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Actually, if you are interested in uh, Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, subscribe to the channel. I don't have anything to sell, any courses to sell, or any paid codes or anything like that. All the content I do provide is completely free on the channel. I post it for free. I don't have any membership or anything like that. And the codes I do share, I do share them for free. I don't sell them or anything like that. So you have nothing to pay me for. No worries. It's completely free. And here I am again with another requested video, which is how to add the WhatsApp message button on your Shopify store. And yes, a cute little button for WhatsApp will be at the bottom right corner for your Shopify store. So the customer click on it, direct him to WhatsApp so he can message you about the product or the request he has. And we will do this without using any apps or anything like that while using our own custom code. And if you are wondering why is that, because apps can slow down Shopify store. Minimize the use of Shopify apps on your store. Use custom code if you can. If you cannot, then maybe use the app or actually don't just drop me a comment i would be happy to make a video for you to do what you're trying to do without using an app and without any more talking let's just get to it and show you how to add the whatsapp button for the messages on your shopify store as you can see this is the shopify dashboard in here and i have down team as the most used ones as the install default one which is the one I do demonstration on and the most requested one in the videos as well so i do demonstration in the videos on down team but if i scroll down in here i have every other team available here include i mean the free ones the free most used ones so taste sense refresh spotlight and trade and if you are wondering why is that because as i said the main trick or the video i do demonstration on down team but for the other ones i do try them in behind the scenes as well so even if you're not using down team using one of these it should work for you just fine because I do try it in behind the scenes. I don't do, I don't do that in the videos. So I don't bore people out. So I do use demonstration on down team because it's the most requested one. And I tried the code on all the other teams. So even if it didn't work for you for one of these, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to make an update for you. But for now again, let's just quit talking about the second time and let's just get to it and show you how to add a WhatsApp button to this Shopify store right here. And it will be at the bottom right here at the bottom right corner and it will have the whatsapp logo uh, obviously so as you can see i have by the way the announcement bar the moving text on it with the gradient color search bar as well as the car uh, the cart uh, count bubble color with the red and uh, transparent header if you scroll down is not transparent and many many more if you are interested in doing any of these make sure to check out my channel i did many videos and customization so Let's just get down down the way and let's just get to it. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously get back to Shopify dashboard. Then make sure to click on the, the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. And once you are on code editor for your Shopify team, click on uh, the folder that says here sections, as you can see, let me zoom in on it. Here we go, sections. Simply click on the folder and you will see add a new section. This is what we need. So click on add new section. It will ask you to name it here. Then simply name it WhatsApp.liquid. And make sure to name it WhatsApp as WhatsApp. Like don't, don't misspell it or something like that because it will not work. So click on done. What is this? Container illegal characters. Oh, because I added, added liquid. Liquid is already here. Just WhatsApp. Sorry, I apologize for that. Click on done and it will create an empty remove this make sure to remove the code from here now it's empty right so we need to paste in a code here that will do the function of whatsapp button so once you click on it redirect it to whatsapp and the customer misses you in order to get that code you need to hire a developer pay him with 24 hours blah 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 <laughs> no worries scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as code then simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where are you gonna see some code in here? 
To copy this code, to make it easier, click on raw option from here, simply click on it. Then click on your keyboard. If you are using Windows, click on Control A. I'm on Mac, I'm click on uh, Command A, and it will highlight the whole code in here. The right click, copy, get back in here, and paste it on the section that we need to create, which is WhatsApp.liquid. So simply click on the Save button, and hold on, we are not done yet. Wait a second, because we need to find another file. Use the search bar again and type in team and you will see team.liquid. Click on team.liquid, then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the file and you will see forward slash body as you can see. But we need some space before or above forward slash body because we're gonna paste in a code as I said. In order to do that, click on front of the last thing above forward slash body and simply hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go, we have a completely new line, nothing on it. Because as I said, we need to paste in a code in here. In order, to get, in order to get that code, you need to hire a developer, pay him with 24 hours, no need, no need, I'm just joking again. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code number two. I repeat, code number two. Simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here. What are you gonna see? This very short code. One line of code. I could tell you to type this, but instead of that, I know you guys lazy, right? So <laughs> just select it like this. Right click, make sure to select the whole thing. Copy, then get back in here and paste it above forward slash body. That was easy, right? Now simply click on the save button and wait a couple of seconds and hold on. We didn't finish yet. Hold on. Get back again to Shopify dashboard in here and click on customize. And you should see the, the button in here. As you can see, here it is. A button for WhatsApp. Now, simply click on it. It says enter your phone number. So in here, you need to enter your phone number. And below here, you need to enter the message. Like when once uh, the customer clicks on it, what the, mes the first message is going to see is, hello, like the default message, right? You get the idea, right? So uh, simply type in here like a number or something. I mean the number you're gonna use for your Shopify store and the default message. I don't have any like number. Uh, just just for demonstration. So let me actually let me hold on one second. Let me get a number. Okay, I got a number. It's a it's a fake number. No worries, it's a fake number. Okay, so <laughs> we'll get back. So we will pass it in here. Then in the message we will say hello. Then click on save button. Let me click on save. We will get back in here. Let me reload the tweet. And now if I click on it, as you can see, if you want a message to this person, which is the number I did put in, it's a fake number. I mean, it's not my number. It's not my number. So then simply it's gonna click, click on it, continue to chat, use WhatsApp web or something like that. Oh, it's gonna open up my WhatsApp. God damn. Phone number shared is your is invalid. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. That's how you add the WhatsApp message number. I mean button, god damn it, on your Shopify store. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below in the comment. I will be happy to help you out. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.